And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Kukuru, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Discord and Patreon. So thanks. Kukuru was a theropod that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Australia. It was probably carnivorous and bipedal and probably six and a half to ten feet or two to three meters long. It probably had long slender legs, so that would have made it a fast runner. But it's really hard to know for sure because the holotype is the complete right tibia, the shin bone, and the referred material is a pedal phalanx, which is a toe bone. So there's not much to go off of. Researchers think there's similarities to Avamimus in the tail, Microvenator, Ornitholestes in the tibia proportions, Calamospondylus, and Silurus in form. The tibia is broken into about 10 large pieces and is about 13 inches or 33 centimeters long. And the tibia is slender. It seems to be getting long and narrow up to the astragalus, which is the ankle bone, though no ankle bone was found. Kukuru may be related to Silurids, or it could be uh, Belisoroidea. That's based on the way that the tibia near the ankle bone looks. The type and only species is Kukuru kuyani, and the fossils that were found were opalized. They were discovered in opal fields in Andamook, South Australia. Well, a South Australian dinosaur. Yeah. We're always talking about Victorian and Queensland. Yes. And actually, it might be Andamook, South Australia. Not totally sure on the pronunciation. So Anthony Fleming acquired the fossils in 1973 for his opal shop, and paleontologist and then curator of South Australian Museum Neville Pledge heard about it from a Mr. Santini, who was an opal miner. Fleming allowed photos to be taken and two casts, the tibia, lower leg bone, and the toe bone, to be made. And soon after the casts were made, the fossils were auctioned off to an anonymous buyer, and nobody heard about it again until 2004 when the South Australian Museum bought the tibia for $22,000. In December 2018, the South Australian Museum got the toe bone after Joy Cloister, who won an auction bid online, it was a liquidation sale in Sydney that was all fossils, asked opal buyers for advice, and they connected her with the South Australian Museum, so now that museum has the toe bone on display. I think we heard about that at the time. It was a pretty fun story. <laughs> they it ended up on eBay and the museum got involved pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool when these things work out. So Neville Pledge and Ralph Muller described and named Kukuru in 1980 based on the cast. The genus name means rainbow serpent in Australian Aboriginal mythology. It comes from a dreaming story about a rainbow serpent. That's a cool origin for the name. Yeah. And the species name refers to the local Aboriginal tribe, the Kuyani. And that's spelled a couple different ways. You've got K-U-J-A-N-I, also G-U-Y-A-N-I. Yeah, I would have thought at first that Kakuru would have been a Japanese name because it sort of sounds like Japanese. Mm. I really like the sound of it. Me too. And the meaning. So the casts are at the South Australian Museum and also the Peabody Museum, Yale University, Australian Museum, and Queensland Museum. So there's a lot of places you can go and see this. But once the museums are all open again, I should say. That's true. Because, well, some of them were closed even before, <laughs> let alone with coronavirus. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.